Alright, I'm using my Sony action camera, that's why the um, lens is, is very wide and you might get some distortion around the edges. Anyway, I thought I'd give it a go see. So this is the oscilloscope, um, Tektronix's um, um, the model is um, 2236 it's pretty fast, it's 100 megahertz and I had some issues with the power supply I opened it, um, so this is the alright top cover, each board I found the um, the manual, the service manual for this and I've been doing some troubleshooting so basically what we have here is um, this is our 240 input and there are some this, this. there's some um, diodes there to rectify the voltage and that goes through the this big capacitor I tested the capacitor is fine and, and it goes through some to, it's pretty complex actually but basically it goes through this transformer and this will feed different voltages, different uh, parts of this one section that's very important is the HV side which is using this step up transformer here as well and using this one, it's about 2.2 um, kV 2200 volt it's feeding um, this CRT basically um, so um, also so the issue with this was when I was turning this on it would turn on and after like 10 20 30 seconds some random time uh, it will go to some sort of uh, infinite loop keep turning itself on and off and these uh, lights here uh, with flicker and uh, these two all right now I'm getting the problem the issue so as you can see these two lights are going on and off and this screen doesn't come on again anymore So what I did, there are some reference voltages in the back of this, I measured them all and they all, um, they were correct, uh, they were um, everything there. So as you can see, actually that's interesting, you see the fan is turning on and off, so it's something, the power supply um, side, the issue is there. I'll see what I can do. I did measure the capacitance, which is I think 75 microfarad. It was correct, but maybe on the load it's not working properly. I'll double check it. All right. So, well, what's cool about this camera is that I can see what I can see, what's what I can see from the camera eyes in my phone, and I can adjust the setting. Anyway, um, I got my multimeter here and now uh, the uh, oscilloscope st um, started to working properly. So I'm going to measure a few um, of these testing points they are all reference to ground or the body of this um, scope. So there is one W961 which is, should be negative 8.6 it is spot on negative the other is positive 5 volt perfect this should be 100 101 still within the threshold that's W954 the other is should be 30 volt positive W956 that's good as well um, I'm gonna measure the voltage across the capacitor, main filtering capacitor. Um, mm -hmm. 
328 all right that's good everything seems working yeah. seems to be working so hmm now I started to work and if you look at here you can see the trays Perfect there. You can just the intensity and focus and everything. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Um, all right, guys. So um, what I did, I, I used the um, service manual and. Uh, that's a page from there and from there um, I started uh, measuring a few um, test points of the voltages and they were all within thresholds and as I said it's um, the fault or the issue it's random and sometimes happens and it doesn't as you can hear it's working the fan and the screen as well um, this screen is on um, um, so it's working now, I don't know what's the issue and then what I did and the uh, service manual it had a, some sort of a GAN chart for you to troubleshoot it actually so I went through that and um, um, there's another schematic here which uh, uh, it's all this board all this board, this is schematic they're about I think eight board in that that's one of them and there are some test points here as well and with that um, these test points it tells you to measure it and um, basically check the waveform and these are, these are the um, waveforms that you should get and in most cases I was I tested these as well and um, a few of these points actually I don't know so it would restart when I was connecting my probe it would restart the um, scope I didn't know I don't know what was the issue with it um, so with, with the rest of them the waveform was as you see there with a bit of a ripple um, and also I measured the better be careful this area is HP, it's about mm, 2 3 kilovolt, 2 3 thousand volt, and here it's the um, it's not HV but uh, it's the high amp and um, 240 to uh, around 400 volt, so it's dangerous. So, what I did also measure the voltage across the main capacitor, it was as smooth as, smooth as it gets, so it was about 320 to 330 volt DC. Um, so this is my video one of repairing this. If you have any ideas, suggestions, uh, had the same scope and you could fix it, just please let me know. I'm very desperate. I'm trying to find out what's the issue with this because I know if I um, assemble it, put it back together and then as soon as I turn it on, start um, going to that intermediate mode of on and off. Well, thanks for watching and have a great day.